So yeah, this is Adam James Mann, uh, one of the RTS 20 bursary recipients of 2014, well now 2015. Uh, this is my term two RTS video diary and I want to I want to refer to my diary one, my first term one diary please, if that's okay. Uh, in regards that I made this little promise right here. I'm currently launching a multi-platform online channel linking up Click FM with the powers of social media and the power of YouTube and YouTube channeling to create a multi-platform show called Up and Strumming where we find new artists who have good voices, good music, good skills, good talents. We bring them into the studio uh, and then we film them, film an episode, record an episode in the studio of Up and Strumming and take the music and put it and play it live on Click FM and then we launch the channel pretty much the day after. That's a multi-platform thing that I, I am trying to get off the ground at the minute. Yep, you heard it there. Last term, pretty much as I hit side, I wanted to set up a multi-platform online TV, music and radio show called Up and Strumming, of which now we are eight episodes in. Uh, we are, we've had two screenings in Middlesbrough on the big screen uh, in the town hall and now our, we have continuous screenings of our show on the Middlesbrough Big Screen, which is just up by the Middlesbrough Institute of Modern Art Gallery, which is a pretty big thing for us at this time. Uh, that's something I head up, I'm the executive producer of that. And I came to Tayside with, uh, I wanted to make waves. I wanted to make an impact, I wanted to make waves, and I wanted to be heard because I didn't want to just be another student running on the media degrees. <laughs> So I set up up and strumming, we're now in our 8th episode, recording our ninth episode next Friday on April the 17th, I'm looking forward to that, getting Phil Caffrey's in, getting the Caffrey, get the Caffrey brothers in, you will know the Caffrey brothers from one of my earlier films, Beneath the Music, which recently has went on to be screened in four UK cities in cinemas and also had a TV appearance on Made in Tiny Mail, which is a regional TV station in Newcastle, so a lot of what I'm doing right now is not even related to university in regards to my module work. I, I've never really seen the distinction between being a filmmaker and being a student. There is no distinction for me. I don't see industry practice and student-led learning as anything different. They should all be interlinked and working with each other. So which is why I wanted to come to Tayside and make an impact. I think it's only for me because we're almost we're at the end of term two and we're about to start term three of university. I think for me now it's more of a wind down phase into thinking what I'm going to do with my summer. On April the 25th, I am cutting my uni year short to go work on a project with a director called Philip J. Howard uh, and a writer called Elizabeth Howard. It's a TV series called Radio With No Windows. It's a six part TV drama, which is gay, which is centered around the lives of five teenagers in the in Newcastle area, in the Northeast area and beyond. I'm producing that. So I was asked to produce that. So I couldn't turn, turn that chance down of producing a six part TV drama. So yeah, they're the two major things I've got going on at the minute. Radio With No Windows and Up and Strumming, both of which I'm producing, actively producing week to week. Uh, now both are really different gigs, to be fair with you. I mean, both are very different gigs. And I love it. I love the vibrancy and the difference in the different days of our industry. It's like one day you can do something different, one day you can do something totally different again. And um, the fact that the Royal Television Society, Teesside, I mean, independent practice hasn't none of them three have sort of suffered in any way. It's always been about learning, it's always been about doing for me, it's always been about getting out there and just practicing your art. In regards to how the RTS has helped me, it's helped me no end, to be fair. I've managed to pay my housing and accommodation rent off straight away, so I actually have a roof over my head next year. Uh, ideally, my thoughts haven't changed in the Royal Television Society. I want to do more work with them over the summer. Bleeding love for you. 